social media two words one reaction silence isn't it true friends that we often find ourselves affected and puzzled because of overuse of technology in our lives while some are overly involved in it others find a passive distance here is jigyasa tandon founder of sci-fi for a healthy mind a mental health initiative which engages people in mental health education and counseling needs of people in distress and we are here to discuss our encounter i recently had with an acquaintance daughter on how social media is so much valuable and how much we should indulge in it so the story goes like this i recently met an acquaintance daughter she was in a teen and looking at her the moment brought the kid in me i tried an ice breaker to initiate a conversation with her i started with a question hey how are you there was a long pause after the question was asked gradually the pause increased and turned into just a period of silence and awkward exchange of smiles i tried again i tried myself giving another chance this time i had put my hands around her back and asked how are you the girl who was pretty tense up till now felt relaxed she took baby steps in telling me how about herself she said hey i am sonia i am 17 year old and i'm pursuing humanities from xyz school i was intrigued by her reply and hence asked her more about her experiences in her study she first gulped took a deep breath but noticing my eagerness and free way of asking she went ahead to indulge in the conversation she said although i'm a school student but uh, I am less interested in the education that is delivered there in that institute but you can associate me with someone who is uh, who belongs to a social media quiet army social media quiet army the conversation was shaping for better and then I asked her more this time she was in a full zeal and in a mature tone she said that Well, I'm a dedicated member of this army and you can find me often in a head bent head bent posture towards the rectangular shaped screen. I hardly interact with anyone like my parents, teachers, friends or relatives. According to me, having friends is an overrated concept. They are simply humor dummies. who don't understand much about human conversations and emotions the only thing they care about is the fun aspect i don't feel safe and they are not cool to understand my secrets my choices my interests especially what information i like sweeping into on a daily basis but on the contrary this much is so much validated on the social media platforms i am engaged to i am totally in love with it i feel so secure into believing what they say hence i'm left with no option but i communicate often on social media and the friends that i have discovered on this journey in the army they are calm relaxed and not judgmental and the best part is that they allow me to be myself in every form and shape also the bond that has developed over the period of time i feel safe and secure in putting out my secrets to social media where they can be updated about what i'm going through you know i get a lot of validation in what i say and they also tell me uh, how should i perform It is so much fun. The glamour and glitter social media offers, it looks like the whole new world to me. It's something that I always wanted to believe in. This boosts my confidence in being whatsoever I want to be. Can you believe 
They're so amazing that I can be a princess, a blogger, a social activist and a deep toned writer at the same time. And the best part is people all agree with me and fill in the blank with loves and likes. Those thumbs up and cute little hearts make me make my experiences even more greater and experiment with some things that I've never thought I would do beho- beforehand. I'm so grateful sometimes to the friends that I had back in school that they bullied me, ignored me and thought that I'm a temporary toffee. They had pushed me into this virtual world and now I'm completely in love with it. It's so reliable and trustworthy. You know what the crazy part is? Now the same people are running like cats and dogs and wagging their tails to be my friends. I feel so empowered. The conversation was closed there as my parents had come back and it was time to go. But what happened next left me in a mere shock. I opened my bag and found a chit. The chit read something which was very dark and very saddening. The same person who spoke so much about social media with so choppiness and how it had affected her positively left a note in my bag which read, You know the, the ease and breeze of social media has left me hollow and empty. Off the screen, there's no one I can talk to, discuss my interests, my fears and my views with. Though it leads a path where everybody likes what I do, but you know what, I have to stretch myself to crazy wavelengths wavelengths to be like that in that manner. I also feel so crazy when I don't get likes. It's so threatening. My parents are always worried about me. And despite trials, they fail to explain why I'm doing what I'm doing. The scattered chaos of virtuality puts me in a better place than the silence of real life. The idea that I'll be trolled or stalked disturbs me so much that it hinders my sleeping. I stay awake for long hours to go through their negative comments and delete them. They feel dirty and ugly. The feeling school gives me. I hate going to school. The need to be perfect and show that I'm ever smiling, happy go lucky person pressurizes me so much that I have to hide everything, even my scars from the attempts to end my life, wounds of bully, the threats to be called unacceptable. I wish sometimes that I had a peer to support. To end the silence of this non-existent reality. An ear who could just listen me and fill with power and protection. Help me feeling help me from falling into that dark hole. I'm ready to fail. I'm ready to stand again. I'm ready to be strong. I'm ready to be courageous to face the struggles of daily lives. But I need one friend with whom I can do the same. You know the, it was very nice talking to you. Your gesture made me feel good enough to have a conversation with you. I never, I had never felt this way any, with anyone before. Thank you. Now I can call you my friend now. My first human mate. The letter affected me so much that it let me to introspect. I was in the same moment like you are now. Friends, sometimes we come across these incidents which gives us a reality check. It gives us an an insight that how much we demand to be perfect, how much we forget ourselves to be real in our daily lives. We just want everything to be perfect and instant and we don't give space to intolerance and time to make mistakes. We all want to grow early but never want to slow down and you know reflect back and pen down those moments which made us learn something. Sometimes being a friend to somebody, just listening to 